You do have to admit, Supreme Commander, the Centro incident was, um, awkward. Senator Burkhol shifted in his seat. Wouldn't you agree? Secretary Rontaine nodded slowly, never taking his steely eye off the woman stood before them. One might almost say embarrassing, shameful, disastrous. Servalan kept a fixed smile on her lips, although inside she wanted to stab them both through their eyes. Gentlemen, let us not get carried away. What happened on Centro was indeed a setback, but not one we need to dwell upon. We have, uh, by we, Supreme Commander, would you be referring to yourself and Space Commander Travis? Again? Rontaine smiled soullessly. I would really rather you weren't planning to include him in your future plans. One is still having to justify to the High Council his continued uh, presence here at Space Command. I understand the President himself commented on the Oros fiasco. And now we're hearing rumours about an earlier incident on Zercasta, Senator Burkel shrugged. Our hands are rapidly becoming tied, Supreme Commander. Servalan sighed and stared at them both. Gentlemen, you insist upon using my title as some kind of insult. It is not. I am the Supreme Commander. The tactics and deployment of resources from this station and the military all across the Federation are mine to command. I would remind also that I outrank you both. Not when we are special envoys from the President, you don't. I would hope you are not setting yourself up as a higher authority, Rontaine purred. Burkhold tapped a button on the underside of his desk, and the door to the corridor outside opened. Servalan was being dismissed. The Blake situation needs controlling, he said. At the moment, the President sees Blake as a problem. Rontaine nodded. I'm sure none of us want you to become a problem as well. Servalan took a deep breath, then forced a beatific smile onto her face. Gentlemen, it is always a pleasure. She turned